How wonderful. desire. Well, all right. I would watch out where I you. See there? That's a trap.
Now, brothers and sisters, be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the Lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. She is not Witherfang, but she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parley. What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us, but until then we will not chance her coming to harm. Swiftrunner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. <sighs> Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. <sighs> I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to her, lady! She will betray you! We must attack her now! Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Those whom I have helped are very grateful for what I have done for them. I offer them guidance, but I do not command them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It 
It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. Deceit is the nature of men. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the landships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way, then he dies. Then they all die. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Lovely. The passage just outside of this room is open to you now, and it will lead you to sunlight. Go, and return quickly. We are eager to see Zathrian face to face after all this time.
Go, and return with Zathrian. One way or another, we shall see an end to this curse today. As you desire. Lovely. Well, all right. Of course.
And so I shall. Ah, and here you are already. I am a keeper, with access to powers your king has long forgotten. I was never barred from this place. <laughs> He wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? To survive, I suspect. That is the common nature amongst all such creatures, the will to survive. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. No, Witherfang's heart will cure the hunters. But it does not end the curse. The curse is more powerful than that. And even if I could, I would not break the curse. These savage beasts deserve their existence. I will do nothing to help them. Ever. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son. To my daughter. And so many others. 
You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my plan be. Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the Lady of the Forest! You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! Then you die with them! 
all of you will suffer as you deserve. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love. Hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man. Alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We... will never forget you. Of course.
I will not stand idly by while outsiders steal from the Dalish. I care not about the Keeper's orders. You will pay for your transgressions. Attack! No! Yeah, that's a trap. I would watch out for you. I would watch out for you. What's on your mind? It is no trouble. Go on at this food pace! Get up, gun! 
must rest yeah. on us a moment. Enough! I can't be on like this! What a shame. And so I shall, as you desire. Is this important? Be careful. How wonderful. Hello. Hmm. You are not welcome here. Doing the Templars dirty work for them, eh? Templars or mages, it means nothing to us. There is dark power here. And you won't stand in our way. That will be answered. That will be answered. Should have moved faster. You are not welcome here. Doing the Templars dirty work for them, eh? Templars or mages, it means nothing to us. There is dark power here. And you won't stand in our way. And so I shall.
Of course. Let us be careful. Your direction? Here I stand. Come, let's have a move on. Yes? I am ready. Marvelous!
done with that one. And so I shall. It is done. Zathrian has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. I suspected, but Zathrian did not like to talk about that. Nonetheless, the curse is over, and no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. I do hope Melora's party returns. She can be so rash and heedless of danger. Where's Melora? She's well past gone. Me to say Masiranus once again for your assistance. You were marvelous how you handled her. I would never have expected it. Melora's patrol returns soon. She's been gone a long time.
Let us pray to the creators, Letheline. All Father, may you forgive our part in this tragedy. Would our sons and daughters have died if not for our pride? Falandine, friend of the dead, may you guide our sons and daughters safely into the beyond. And most of all, he who hunts alone, the dread wolf. He will come for us in the end, but today he turned a blind eye. And for that, we are thankful. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost lore, the walkers of the lonely path. And never again shall we submit. You have returned. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? Dead? What happened to her? Was it as I thought? So I was right. But what became of her? She told you that? Yes. That is what she would do. <sighs> at least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral, fare you well. I await your command. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Truly? Let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement, and I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow, or perhaps a breastplate? Manuvinin, I will craft it myself. Watch if you prefer. It will not take long. And I've reformed the wood to my will. A Dalish longbow for you. May it serve you well. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need.
Have you given thought to perhaps prolonging your life by forcing another spirit into your service? Of course not. I would. Of course, I am still young, beautiful, and my life is my own, while you are bound to that circle. Hmm. I wonder why I asked. It would be a silly thing, prolonging your life. A waste. Think what you will, Morrigan. When the end comes, I will go gladly to my rest, proud of my achievements. While you... You will see how empty your life was. You will realize that because you never had love for others, you never received love in return. And you will die alone and unmourned. You speak of meaningless things. I need no one to mourn me, old woman. More's the pity.